Well, Joe, welcome to Stockport County. You've been in the building a few weeks now. How are you settling into life as a county player? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great start to my time here. Really, everyone's been really welcoming with me. Um, uh, both the lads and the staff has, uh, have really kind of welcomed me in, and I've really enjoyed my first few weeks. You obviously had a, a little niggling injury for the last couple of weeks that's kept you out of the first few pre-season games, but back in training now, how are you feeling? Are you, are you ready to get back into it? Yeah, it was a bit frustrating. I uh, kind of picked up an injury at the end of um, the first week, but it was nothing serious, so I've been able to obviously get that first week's work, get plenty of work in as well whilst I've been been um, a little bit injured, but I'm back now, and yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a relief to be back involved. Obviously, you're joining from Torquay. I mean, for someone at a relatively young age, you're joining with plenty of experience already under your belt from your time there. A young player of the year last season, played almost every game last season. How do you reflect on your time at Playmore? Yeah, um, I think it was exactly what I needed, um, exactly what, um, you know, we, we wanted to get to the Football League and we didn't quite achieve it. Um, so, I mean, the club was great with me. They, 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 they welcomed me in just as I have been here and, and I really enjoyed my time there. But um, obviously this opportunity came up and I couldn't really turn it down. Yeah, having made the decision to leave this summer, what was it about County that's attracted you here and made you feel this was the right move? Yeah, I think County's a club that, that has been there and done it before. We all know the level it's been at and, you know, um, I've, I've kind of made sure I, I know about the club. Um, but it's, it's a club that's on a journey again, that's, that's you know, really pushing, really really going to, to win back-to-back -back kind of promotions and, and that kind of ambition is brilliant. Obviously, like I said, it's a club that's been there and done it before, but it's on that journey again and it's something that's really exciting to be a part of. And again, we spoke about that experience, but still only 22 as well so there is a real opportunity here for you to grow alongside the club over the next couple of years as well exactly i think that that was another massive factor um just that opportunity to kind of progress with the club and i think i think really that from a footballer's point of view that's always the best way to do it people want to join a club and want to stay there for a long time and really become a part of that club so hopefully that's something i can do and, and grow and, and go on the journey with the club just looking at the, the last couple of seasons, you played in a, a variety of different positions for Torquay, pretty much anywhere across the back line. How would you best describe yourself as a defender? Um, yeah, I've played. Um, we played in a three quite a lot last year. Um, I think someone who likes to get into kind of um, 1v1 situations a lot is comfortable doing that. Um, I like to play at a, a high intensity um, and, yeah, just kind of get into battles, but also get on the ball and, and drive out and, and kind of make things happen as well. And in terms of the, the dressing room here at Carrington, obviously there's a couple of familiar faces in Connor Lemon A. Evans and Ben Whitfield, but how have you found the group so far? There's certainly a couple of characters around here. Yeah, I think we just heard a couple of them. Um, but uh, yeah, no, everyone's been great with me. Uh, like I said at the start, it's one of the first things that's kind of jumped out on me is, is how, how well I've been welcomed and, and how great everyone's been with me. And it's not just saying that, it's the truth. And whether it's the fans, the staff, uh, um, like I said, I've, I've met a couple of fans around the place and everyone's, everyone's been great. So, yeah, it seems like a great place to be. I asked Connor this question as well, but when you came to Edgeley Park that night in the last week of the season, over 9,000 county fans inside the ground that day, you, you really saw firsthand the potential and the size of this football club. Was that a, a big factor when you come in here? Oh, yeah, I mean, County's clearly a huge football club. Everyone in the league knew it last season and I think everyone in the league knows it this season. And like you said, that night, um, I'd had... The, the season before, I had a great experience at Edgley Park, really as well. That was another big game towards the end of the, the season. But I mean, that um, that night uh, towards the end of the season, it was like you said, it was it was bouncing. It was at full house, and um, yeah, it kind of just showed this really showed the scale of the club. It's going to be your first season in the football league as a, as a first team player. There's obviously a lot of momentum behind the club at the minute. You mentioned yourself, back to back promotions. Is that what a, a successful season would look like for you? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think everyone's on the same page with that. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that really, we, we want to get promoted again, so that's what we're going for. And finally, just a couple of weeks now until the first game of the season, Barrow at home, how much are you looking forward to, to getting started now? Yeah, I can't wait, even more so after kind of having a couple of weeks out, I'm looking forward to, to getting a couple of games under my belt before the season starts, but yeah, that's what we're all waiting for really, the start of the season, so can't wait. Joel, thanks for your time, welcome to County. Thank you.